man, as you can see, this stuff is hard to get out. <laughs> All right, so I was able to figure it out. So pretty much, you're gonna need two like this. Trust me, you're gonna need these, or you're gonna need like a flathead screwdriver or something. But you're gonna need these two tools. Well, actually these three. As you can see, I got this one up here. And I also got this one with the hook. So pretty much what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to put this hook side in right here, pull it up, and this little piece right here gonna slide right in between that little um, slot piece that's right there. This this stuff is hard. I'm telling you, like it, it's, it's not easy to come out because you're afraid you're gonna break it. So we're gonna move to the other side now. Repeat the same steps. Put that in like that. Put this side in here. Pull that up. If you go up high enough, you should be able to see these two pieces. And it's a little clip right there. And you want to pull up just like that. You want to get it in there. And you want to pull it up. And that's how you get that clip piece out of there. Wow, yo. <laughs> that's actually pretty hard, man. And it should pop out. Should be able to come out now. And there you go. You got the top pieces. These are two clips that I was talking about. They're placed in right here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it, but they're placed in right here and right there. Um, but other than that, let's see if I can get this off of here. There's a better look. So pretty much what's going to be going on you got those clips right there. And like I was showing you in the previous part of the video, once you get that clip piece on the side there, you're gonna have to put this one in. Once you lift it up, you're gonna put it in right there. So pretty much, let me show you. I'm gonna put one, put it in halfway. I'm not putting it all the way back in. So pretty much you wanna get a tool like this, or like you said, if you got a flathead screwdriver or something, Put it in there, you want to pull it up. Like this is going to be down. Pretty much going to be down like that. The next two, you want to get something like this or another flathead screwdriver or something. And you want to put it right there. So once you get that, hopefully I can get it. I'm working with two hands. You want to get this tool right here. And you want to insert it right between there. And you want to lift up and it should pop. You see I almost broke this piece, but um, you put it right between them because it fit literally right between the clip. And you pull it up and boom, it should come right out. And you do the same thing for both sides. So now that we got this off, well, I thought this thing went back in there. I was gonna say, hold on now. But now that we got this off, Cool, we put that to the side up here. So pretty much, here is the radio part. Um, you uh, make sure, just a reminder, make sure you got your battery unplugged if you're gonna be taking this out. Make sure you got the battery unplugged. Um, also, let's see, your vent stuff, like once you get the radio out, you should be able to take these vents out. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to take the whole thing out, so. Let's do that. Um, nine times out of 10, he's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. You got one here and you got one, you should have one right there. Pretty much two bolts holding this down. And then on the inside, you got a uh, 10 millimeter socket there. It should be another one on the other side. Yep. So pretty much look like four 10 millimeter sockets that's holding this in. So we're gonna go back time lapse. We're gonna do that. Again. So pretty much what you're gonna need next is um you're gonna need um a little short ratchet short extension 10 millimeter socket pretty much that's all you're gonna need you're gonna have a bolt here the bolt on the other side you're gonna have a bolt right back there 
and also another boat inside here. So let's get started. got that so let's get ready to pull it out pull out slow make sure you recover your keep your boats and ladies and gentlemen that is how you remove that is how you remove this radio as you can see um let's see if I can get everything unplugged That's prior to the series. That's your speaker install. I'm trying not to scratch nothing as well. Oh, no trip. Clip right there inside. All right, and there you go. I'm definitely gonna have to clean the screen now, but that's what your factory Nissan radio looks like. That is exactly what it looks like. Um, this is pretty much everything in there. No, it do not have, um, how can I say, like the, what's the, what's the, um, speaker wire and stuff like that as you see it's just plain um the nissan part number for this is 259 1a6c as in cat a as in apple 1b as in bravo all right so pretty much here's all the information you can pop it pause it on the screen and go from there but that is definitely how you remove the radio. So let me give you a better look. Uh, let's see. I don't want to stop recording. All right. So, yep. This went to the top, the bottom. This probably going to be 9 times out of 10. Like, if you got the bowl system with navigation and everything, you're going to have a few things that are different in here, like as far as the plug-ins. But um, overall, you're pretty much good to go. And that's your Nissan part number. All the information you need. Um, I guess the brand is Bosch. It's a Bosch radio system. And pretty much, yeah. This is the whole entire radio. That's what sits behind this. So, like I said, you're gonna have a boat here that you gotta deal with. One there, one here. Um, you got one there. You also gonna have one right there. And I mean, remove the radio pretty not hard. Once you get this top piece, this is the killer. This top piece right here is the killer. Now that this is off, you can get a better look what I was talking about. If you look right in there, that's that clip that I was talking about in the beginning. And you look right here, that's the other clip. So, yeah, it is wild. <laughs> but once you get all these clips out, you got three clips at the top that you got to be careful about. 
And you also got this one that I accidentally almost just stuck back in there. But okay. But other than that, thank y'all for watching. This is how you remove the radio, factory radio from your Nissan Altima. Sorry if the video is too long, but I guarantee you, you don't want to miss a step. Um, but appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the 1,500 subscribers. I love y'all. And uh, we're going to keep going from here. I'm going to keep showing y'all stuff on the Altima. We in for the long haul, man. We definitely got the radio off now. So, so yeah, we're going to do it, but appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care. Be safe out there. COVID still real. And man, I just overall appreciate everybody for what y'all done. And thank y'all so much. Peace out.